Bring the survival action roguelike itself. We are going to be checking out the knight again here today. We've only played them one time, but they can start with a weapon that I am very, very curious to experiment with more, and that is the sword. So the knight gets two melee damage, two flat melee damage for every one armor you have. He starts with five armor, but you can't equip ranged weapons, and you cannot equip weapons that are not blue or above, tier two or above. They have been nerfed. I think that it's in the attack speed area here that uh, attack speed modifications are reduced by 50%, which is a really big deal. Doesn't mean don't take attack speed, but it means it's gonna be difficult to get. Uh, and then harvesting modifications reduced by 80%. I mean, more or less, that's probably gonna be fine. I think that just means I won't go for harvesting on this guy, uh, which is fine. So danger level five though, new enemies appear, elites and hordes appear, enemies are stronger, more elites and hordes appear, and two bosses appear at once. But the plan that I have for today, the desire I have for today is, you know, I want to go for six swords. Like, that's the that's the plan right now. We may possibly, I'm going to keep it open that if there's like a weird bizarro melee weapon uh, that I can't think of off the top of my head right now, maybe I'll go for something like that. But for now, let's, let's go with luck because I need to find... Oh, come on. Give me the sword. I might lock that. No, I'll lock this armor. Okay, we'll get the sword. So that's the thing, is because we can't get commons, it's going to be a lot more difficult to, uh, to get to our six weapons. We shall see. But the big thing that the sword does is it alternates here, you can see, between poking and slashing. You poking and slashing. So... I don't know. I think that when we have six of them, that, like, versatility that they have is going to be really interesting. We shall see. Okay. I know we get half effectiveness from attack speed, but I am going to want attack speed. As annoying as it is, I am definitely going to want some attack speed. We're going to be tunnel visioning in on swords for now. I don't know what other weapon I'd really even want. Like, what? Explosive fists? I feel like that's for another day with, like, brawler or something. Look at this. Look at this. The little piercing, the little slicing. Even having two is really, really neat. But this is a character I just, I really liked the last time I played them. They were very strong. Like, it makes sense why they got nerfed. I wish they didn't, of course. But what are you going to do? It's not that big of a deal. I'm going to say no. We, we want luck. Armor is really big. Armor is survivability and damage for us. I do want bag... Uh, oh, it's shop four already. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Because I do want it... I mean, shield is good, but it scales off of armor and not melee damage. So it's not like we get to double dip on the damage. It's a little... It's weird. It's really strange. Uh, but I'm going to be going for just a lot of sword. Just a lot of sword. And I'm not going to spend any more money because, again, like... It's going to be really, really... Uh, cost prohibitive to get six swords, but that's kind of just what this character's got going for them. Uh, you know, is we're only going to be finding blues, so that's really good, but they're very expensive, and we don't have uh, like a really easy way of going for harvesting with the 80% reduction. That's kind of why that's there, I suppose, is to make it so it's supposed to be a special and tricky thing. Uh, to, to afford all six, <laughs> I suppose. So here, I will go for the attack speed, even though it's only 5%, because that's, I mean, it's a big deal. Do you want to find another sword really bad? We're guaranteed one weapon in the shop, every roll here. All right, three swords. I mean, you know, they are blues. So I would imagine they're going to be like a little bit quicker and everything, so... We could look at this like we have the equivalent of six commons. But usually you don't really want to combine if it means you're going to have an empty hand. But who knows? This is working quite decently. And a reminder that our damage is coming from a stat that's also keeping us alive. Which is what I think is so fun about the character. And why I like uh, the new version of Chunky as well. Is the, the power coming from that is just... I don't know. There's something kind of relaxing about that. Puts your mind at ease. I don't feel guilty taking armor. You know what I'm saying? 
Wave 6. This is the last time we're guaranteed weapons, so I am going to tunnel vision while we were guaranteed one weapon. Oh my god. Oh. Alright. So now we should be good. I know locking three things and rolling seems stupid, and it's only half stupid. Let me let me assure you, it's only half dumb. It's just because I really do want to tunnel vision the swords, and that's the last time we get the guarantee. You can find two weapons in the shop. It's just not like, I don't know, not super likely when you have one thing locked, and it's not going to be that, like, obviously it's not going to be possible with three, but that's okay. That is, a, that is a thing I was intentionally going for there. We got our swords. We have four swords. All right, Legend's Zelda, that was a good game. Uh, but we're going to have our fifth in the shop, sixth coming soon. And then we're going to be going for epics already, not so bad. Percentage damage will go pretty far for us. Armor is, like, just such an obvious take. Pretty much just across the board here. Five swords. Five swords. Oh, no, that's right. We got eggs. Egg phase, egg phase. Looking around, looking around, looking around. Egg over there. Do a little bit of manual aiming on egg phase. Okay, keeping my eyes peeled. Oh god. Manual aiming when we're swapping between slicing and stabbing is really interesting. Sword's doing good damage. 62 is not bad. Like, that is really not bad. So it must be, you know, it must have pretty good base damage here. On top of the fact that we got all that nice flat damage. Uh, percentage damage is going to be a really important thing to purchase. Hey, well, would you look at that? Uh, metal plate should actually gain damage out of that. Recycling machine is... Ah, maybe not. I was going to say, recycling machine is really good on this patch. Because of the potential guaranteed legendaries. I still think it's worth it to get now. Like, it not having, uh, you know, a huge amount of inflation on it means by the time I find it, it's not going to be like 150 bucks or something stupid like that. So that's nice. It's a lot easier to buy items that are, like, just for economy reasons nowadays. Because of the removal of that uh, inflation increase. Inflation still exists. It's just not so bad. Oop. Like, all of those items are just like, buy me to get more money. They felt so dumb. They felt so dumb on Danger Level 5 because the, the, the break-even point was so far away all the time. Okay, I want this guy. Good deal. Yeah, good damage. Obviously, we're a little slow with it. It's understandable. It's going to be difficult for us to be any less slow with it. Uh, I just don't want the speed down element of that. I'll take some health. We have a lot of armor. Health will go far for us. Sure. That's only 3% attack speed down. Sure. We're still missing our final weapon. I'm going to say no to Shady Potion. It's, it's a really good item. Don't get me wrong. It is a good item. I just don't want it... So we're going to be a little slow with our smacks here. So I actually don't know if this is going to be like a great wave for us like it usually is. We're pretty slow with our swings and we only have five weapons. They're very good weapons. Like it's the equivalent of ten commons. But still. Yeah, I don't know. We're doing numbers. Maybe the increase of uh, common to blue for the attack speed front is doing wonders. That's really one of the best ways we can increase our attack speed right now, upon reflection. Combining our weapons gives us a cooldown, a base cooldown reduction, which is not reduced by attack speed penalty uh, from the knight. So that's probably the best way we can decrease our cooldown right now. Eh, who cares on that? Sure. What's my speed? Crit is really good. Like, this is a lot of crit. I'll take it. Hey, there we go. Metal detectors. And maybe I'll take the metal plates. Tree. Armor. Ghost hex thief dagger. Yeah. Okay, so what's the difference here? See, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. 
since it's so difficult for us to decrease our attack speed normally, the fact that this goes from 1.2 to 1.0, more or less, that's really big. That's such a big increase that we could only dream of getting with an attack speed increase. How can we really influence that? I mean, economy, uh, re the free reroll item would be a good way uh, to potentially get more weapons, get more sword upgrades. So just, yeah. Get in some econ stuff, which, I don't know. I can't get harvesting. Not really. But at the very least, it's not worth it. With an 80% penalty, why even try, right? Seems dumb. Oh boy. This is working, though. This is working really, really well. Not even factoring it, like factoring in that we have lots of armor as well. Like, they're not really hitting us that often. But if they did, it wouldn't even be that bad. That's what's so nice about this character. Offensive and defensive moves at the same time. I'll take a chance on it. Why not? Armor. Pretty much just tunnel armor. Yes. 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 Snail. 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 Circular saw is very good. That's kind of the way we played this character the, fir the first time. The crit chance. 8%, so it is naturally 3. Most weapons seem to be naturally 3. 3 crit. Some have 1, some have a lot more. But naturally, the default seems to be three. Or if you have like a thing like alien eyes or something random that doesn't list a crit chance, but it can crit, it's usually, th I think it's usually 3% for those two. Woo, we doing numbers on these big boys. Loving it. So yeah, I think HP regen is the angle. I don't think that uh, lifesteal is going to give us that much when we're doing such slow, powerful hits. Trying to go double dip in for that uh, that guy back there, but no. Good, but yeah, life steal is for fast attacking. HP regen is for slow attacking. Nah. Nah. Love it. Do I need more luck? I don't think so. I I had not considered that we might just kind of like get them for free. Dangerous bunny. Okay. So we have our uh, our horde phase, which I'm not going to be super jazzed about. I feel like we actually would do really, really decently in an elite phase. So I'm really sad that we got um, double hordes. We miss out on some free legendary items. And honestly, we, we maybe die because attack speed is not our strong suit. And attack speed is kind of what you just want for hordes. Huh? Eh, we'll probably probably be okay. This is awkward though, I'm not gonna lie. Very awkward. Having to do a lot of fancy feet action and a lot of money is up in here that I can't get to unless I kinda like suicide walk. Yeah? Alright, just get all the money we can here. Walk in the middle of the crowd. With the amount of armor we have, it shouldn't be a problem. Give me armor. Armor percentage damage. Okay. All right, we get the free reroll. Bean Teacher's not bad. Bean Teacher's really not bad. There's Power Fist. I did say if we were going to be going for anything, it would probably, I think different probably be Power Fist. But I, I, I'm pretty well set on this, and I stand by the fact that I think I'm going to save Power Fist for the obvious uh, brawler like quirky brawler run right doesn't that, i think that makes sense you can get a range down it shouldn't it shouldn't be too big of a deal in fact it should be kind of a way for us to get a cooldown reduction without going for attack speed i wouldn't mind a little bit of attack speed i know we have a 50 percent penalty but that doesn't mean we take none it's not like it's 80 percent you know, it's just 
sometimes you can look at the uh, negative stats a couple ways. For some characters, you look at it like, this means don't ever buy it. But there's also some times where there's a negative reduction on a stat because it's such a good stat for the character that for balance reasons, you have to have 50%. Sometimes it's it's just like a challenge for like to add to the character just being more difficult. And sometimes it, it just, just to put him in line. And honestly, I think that a lot of attack speed on this character, when you start with such a free, high-quality, hefty weapon, I could see it getting pretty out of hand. Um, percentage damage, tempting. I'll take a little bit of speed, actually. Take that roll for free. But yeah, we want free rolls because if our big thing is to get more swords, the best thing we can do is roll the shop more. You know, if I if I really want attack speed, that's a great way to do it. Buying rerolls is kind of buying attack speed today. Because the purple are, are pretty hefty. I don't know what the legendary does yet. I don't know if I've... I've probably had a legendary sword at some point. Maybe I've had one. Who knows? Bloop, 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 bloop. Yeah, I don't know. The, the, the swiping and piercing together. It's not a tan like not a very tangible thing to be like. How how strong is this making me? The fact that I have this versatility there. But I I'm not having a difficult time really. It could be any number of things. It could be the HP. Uh, well, no, I mean sorry, the armor. It could be. I mean, we could get HP. I'm gonna say no. Range. I don't want a lot, but I, I kind of like the idea of getting out of the pit there. Nice. Okay, not a not as big of a difference, but definitely a difference made there. Another horde. Man, if these were elites, we, like, th that's, this is one thing that I'm like, eh, on about the new update. And I think it could be changed pretty simply it's the fact that there's some runs where it's just like elites are so much better because if you can kill them you get a free legendary so the fact that i'm kind of like i look at this run and i'm like i'm missing out on three what could almost be free legendaries and instead i'm doing this wave which I was going to say I'm going to have a hard time with, but they all seem to be spawning in a perfect clump for me. I don't know. There's some waves where when they're hordes, I don't think it really makes it that much harder. So, I don't know. You theoretically get a little bit more money on this uh, on this wave. Seems to be the case. I never really feel like it's that much. It's definitely not the equivalent of a legendary item. It's... Of the two, it is the worst outcome. Uh, Plasma Sledgehammer is interesting. Definitely, potentially fun. Let's save a Wandering Bot. Looking for this. Hey, wait, why did my reroll price go back down to seven? I'm, I mean, I ain't complaining. But we'll see. We'll put the uh, the money where the... What is the phrase that I said? The money where the mouse is. We'll put our money where our mouse is when we get to the Elite, and we'll see if we can even handle them. I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. There's a couple elites that are not melee friendly. Boop, 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 boop. There's a couple that are not at all. Uh, we've been lacking on getting HP regen. Like, it hasn't mattered yet, but the moment we have some issues, we're going to really want that. I know Schmoop was, uh, was an option. Probably should have taken it. We have plenty of flat melee damage at this point. See, that's what I'm talking about. What is that damage? What the hell are you doing? They kind of just clumped on the side of me there. That was some unlucky garbage. Did you see that? What the hell? What the hell was that? Uh, another good idea is flat health. Because so we have a lot of armor. Uh, do I want that? It's weird, because we really like percentage damage right now. 
it's good. Like, obviously, it's good. I'm going to skip it, though. I don't feel like I need it that much. I get kind of... I don't know. It's obviously... It's one of those items that's obviously pretty strong. But it has some downsides to it where I'm just like, right now, I don't know. I don't think it's what I need. I want the HP regen out of it, sure. Like, two HP regen, though, I'm going to get from the, the other item I locked in the shop that doesn't cost as much as a legendary. With a percentage damage downgrade in addition, which... 8% damage right now is... It's a lot. 8% of 200 is... We're, we would maybe be losing damage on that at this point. Because we have so much flat damage already. I, I actually think that that... There's a chance we lose damage. On that, you kind of want a faster firing melee weapon. Like a... Like a fist angle or something. Get the money, get the money, get the money, get the money, get the money. Nope. Nope. I mean, I'll take more armor. It's damage. Now, there we go. Sad Tomato is, is totally good. I, You know what? At this point, I will take Schmoop. Sure. Padding? Oh, I don't want speed down. Oh, fun. We're almost, uh... Almost at our maximum. Oh, the chef. The chef is not too bad for melee. I don't like the uh, the dodgy boys we've got going on. Is in addition though. Yeah. See this? Look. See what I'm saying? Just like that. I got a I got a free legendary item. Which I don't know. The rewards for this phase versus the horde. That's really the big thing. I just think that hordes need a better reward. Otherwise, it feels like when you start a run... If, like, if I was somebody who really cared about min-maxing my chances to win, I would probably, like, start a run and I would just re-roll until I got uh, three elites, truthfully. Like, I think that's the thing. Is if you don't have three elites, I think you have a bad roll, right? Like, you just have less of a chance of winning. Oh, this is incredible. I I don't like reducing my HP regen, but this is incredible, obviously. That's our free legendary we got, and that's kind of what I'm talking about. That is, that, that is a free legendary. Shop 19? I don't know if I'm really going to get much value out of that at this point. Of course, the very next thing was that. Hunting trophy. Lulla. A lulla. Yeah, I'd rather just have the ability to take speed downs. Okay, what's this? Wait, wave 19 here. Not so shabby. Lots of legendary sort. This feels nice. This feels like a... It feels like I'm playing an RPG. Whoop. Or I'm like I'm doing a, a raid and I, I'm, I came out. I got the best loot. Whoop. Used up all my DKP. Whoop, 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 whoop. But yeah, considering, um, oh my god, that guy. Considering we have 4% attack speed, I say we're attacking pretty fast. Swords just upgrade really well. Some weapons upgrade better than others. I think I'd add sword to that list of, uh, weapons that upgrade really well. So much armor. Free money. Yeah, you want a free danger level five win? I don't know. This might be this might be it. Add add this to the pile of free danger five wins. Uh, I'll take a percentage damage at this point. Couple armor ups, uh, sword up. We're probably not gonna get. Do I take it or do I try and like gimmick myself for legendaries? Ah. If only. Thunder sword. Oh, thunder. Yeah, I mean, well, it wouldn't be good. We don't have any elemental damage. One shy of the full kit and the full caboodle. A sad day. Oh, this is awkward. Let's get the hell out of here for a second. 
trying to do a choppa choppa. I mean, we just do so much damage. We could kind of just hang out here. Well, no. No, we can't. We cannot. We cannot. We are hurting. We can't just hang out in the melee range. Fine. Good dodge. Lucky dodge. Kill the guy. There we go. You know, I feel like I'm starting to think it's worth it to just, worth it to just take... Um, what is it? Ugly Tooth. I, even on this run. On this run, I was like, why would I take Ugly Tooth? My weapons are so slow. I think it's worth it literally just for the final boss fight and kind of end elites. Like, I think it might be a guaranteed take no matter what you have now. I could be wrong, but just the fact that the bosses would be slowed by 30% regardless because it doesn't matter that they're slow. They still apply the three hits before it wears off, you know? Uh, that was a very easy run. This character is still incredibly easy. We take 75% less damage, and because of that, we do 88 more flat melee damage. That's so silly. That's such a silly concept. We take 75% less damage, and because of that, we hit for almost 100 more. That's nuts. And then you, of course, drop the percentage melee on there. It's just the, the obvious thing to take. Armor, uh, melee, percentage. Bada bing, bada boom, you got a one run. Um, things got a little spicy as I started thro throwing myself at the enemies at the end there. But honestly, if I would have just kept throwing myself at the, the boss, he would have died. So I, either way. And at this point, I'm not really worried about death. Like, you know... You guys have seen the runs I've been doing. I've been playing wild and loose, just kind of kind of letting it go and seeing what happens. Uh, but hey, with that in mind, if you have any suggestions for a build that you think that A, that I have not done, search, you know, search, see if I've done it, uh, that is either wildly strong and I haven't done it, or, and I'm not talking modded. I'm not talking modded. I'm just, just a base game run that is wildly strong. That's just a fun combo that works weirdly well. Uh, no, if anybody suggests uh, wrench multitasker, I swear to God, it's not strong. <laughs> it's not strong. I promise you, it is a trap. It is a noob trap that looks strong. Uh, but other than that, any suggestions you have, let me know. Either challenges that are not like too wildly dumb challenging, like, you know, play uh, somebody who's not the one armed and win with one weapon. Like, I'm not. You know, I'm not really interested in, in just challenges that are so, so silly that you're just never going to have a chance. But any ideas you've got, let me know down below. Thank you for watching, though. Check the channel, of course, for Rogue Lakes and more every single day. Go check out the Pokemon series that I'm running right now. I highly recommend it. It is a roguelike fied ROM hack of Pokemon Emerald, meaning there's randomized Pokemon, actually very difficult trainer battles, everything like that. Uh... You know, all of that, anything that you would want out of a roguelike infused into a Pokemon game and much shorter runs, permadeath on your Pokemon, everything like that. It is wild. It is brutal. It is so much fun. Do go watch that series. I cannot recommend it enough. Go check out my channel. Go catch up with that one from the beginning. It has been, it has been many people have commented and said, it is their new favorite series that I have ever done. I've been doing YouTube for t about 12 years now. And a lot of people have said it's their favorite series that I've, e I've ever done on my channel. So go check it a look. Check it a look. No, it's not a mistake. I'm doing a devolver. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. Thank you, thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye.